Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a torn edge around the outside of an image using GIMP. Now there's probably more than one way to do this but I'm going to show you the way that I do it and it's just about two or three steps and you end up with an image that uh, has a torn edge around the outside. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to create a new transparent layer. So if you just click this button here, you'll get a dialog box and you want to make sure that you fill it with transparency. So we're going to click OK. And now we have a transparent layer on top of the image. Now what we want to do is we just want to draw in or paint in uh, the border that we want to use. So you could do this a few different ways. I'm going to do this in a couple of steps with a couple of different brushes. So I'm going to choose a really hard brush here and I'm going to, going to scale this up and right around the outside oh, I don't want we want to use a dark color because uh, the dark uh, color is going to be easier to see but I'm going to, so I'm going to switch this to black and use black and then I'm just going to paint around the outside edge using this hard brush. And this is just a step one, a phase one I guess you could say. and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going for a torn edge anyway so uh, once you get your border kinda carved out get a rough idea of where the border is gonna be then we're gonna switch over to another brush and I'm gonna use this one right here you're basically looking for any brush that has an irregular edge on it something that's not nice and smooth something that's really jagged and then I'm going to push this size up to about anywhere between 450 and 500. I'm going to make the spacing be pretty high as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come behind that other brush with this one. And maybe I can go down a little bit on the sizing on this one. And I'm just going to add that irregular edge basically get rid of all of the smooth edges that that previous brush left and I'm going to do that with this brush and if you, you could do the whole thing with this one brush um, and it would it would probably turn out just fine. You may have to play with the sizing a little bit and maybe the spacing and the jitter and some of these settings over here on the left. Uh, but the idea here is you're just getting rid of the, all the smooth edges on your, on your border. And the clicks, uh, you know, you may have to click each time where you want to put a blotch. Uh, or you can drag, but you get the idea. So we've got that's good enough uh, for the demonstration. Obviously, if you're doing this. Uh, you might want to take some more time on it but this will illustrate the point of how to do it so once you get your border drawn in how you want it uh, you basically just need to select what you want to use as the border and the easiest way to do that is just point at this icon on the layer that has the paint 
and hold down your alt key and click that icon and what we've just done is selected all of the color on that layer so now we can hide that layer and so we have the outside edge selected on this image so now what we want to do is we want to come down here and select the image and then right click it and add a layer mask to that image now when we add this layer mask because we have black or because the outside is what's selected and we're going to apply the mask to the selection you need to make sure that you invert the mask so make sure this is clicked otherwise you're going to end up with a big empty hole in the middle and you're going to have your image on the outside so make sure invert mask is selected choose the selection option and click add and now you've got a layer mask on that image now the only thing that we need to do is just deselect everything by clicking select and none and then come down here and create another layer that's transparent drag it below the image and then fill it with the color that we want our paper to be and you know I think uh, I think a beige-ish, yellowish kind of paper is probably good. And, you know, that kind of looks like paper color. So if I select that, go to my paint bucket, and then just uh, with this empty layer selected, fill that in with paint. We have an image that looks like the edges are torn and you could export it like this you could merge it down and make it one solid one single layer image uh, if you want but that's basically how you create the torn edge effect uh, using GIMP I hope that helps and thanks for watching